Aaron Masters and Masters and Fitness .com here and today we're talking about part three of the double under mastery series where we're going to start hitting some double unders and starting to link together high quality double unders so you'll be quickly on your way to hitting 100 on in a row. So part three is building on part one and two where we talked about all the single under mechanics, mechanics of the power bound and we started to talk about how we're going to link those two things together in order to get our first double under. You want to keep all those points of performance that we talked about before, vertical torso, quick off the balls of the feet, turning with the wrists, all that stuff is still true when you're going to double unders and we really want to make sure that we're maintaining good technique as we try to start spinning the rope a little bit quicker, jumping a little bit higher, and starting to do some double unders. So the first drill that we're going to talk about is we're just gonna do three forward singles into one double under and we're gonna stop. Now this is a quality double under. If you start piking or donkey kicking like we talked about in part two, then go back, work on some of the other mechanics and then come back and join us here. But if you can get a good double under, then all you have to do is three, four singles into one good double. Stop restart. Singles, one good double, stop, restart. This is just a good starting point, but this is just one step. Some people, this is where they stop. I think that one of the biggest problems with people who get to that point is that they're basically selling out for that double under with no thought of the fact that they need to continue going after. So the next progression for this drill is to do three, four, five single unders, however many, one double under and then go right back into doing single unders. Four or five singles, one double under. Four or five singles, one double under. If you can start to do this for 30, 45, even 60 seconds, you're gonna be well on your way to string together double unders. So there's a couple ways this drill can progress from there. Either you can start to decrease the number of singles between double unders, so say you were doing five singles and a double under, then you could do four singles and a double under, into four singles, double under, down to three singles, two singles and a double under, two singles, double under. If you can do that for 30 seconds, you're probably ready to start doing consecutive double unders. The hardest part of this drill is actually going from the doubles back to the singles. It's a weird change of pace, but it's really gonna start to develop that body awareness that is really helpful when you're trying to make small adjustments of the rope as you're doing a bunch of double unders. So really focus on this one, make sure your technique is really good and that you're bounding perfectly and not running into any of the issues that we talked about in part two. The other way that you can start to make this drill a bit more progressive is to say do four or five single unders into two double unders, back end of four or five singles and then two double unders. And then keep increasing four or five into three double unders, four or five into three double unders. Again, if you're doing this for 30, 40 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever, you're, you're probably gonna start to string together double unders and you start to decrease some of those singles and you'll be well on your way to doing consecutive double unders. In part four, we're gonna start to talk about rhythm because this is sometimes the missing piece that maybe you've got really good bounding and you've got quality, wrist control, but you're just still not getting a hold of, of the double under concept, I got a drill for you that might fix all that. So be sure to subscribe so that you know when part four comes out and we're gonna start talking about cadence. Thanks again for watching. I would love to see videos of you practicing any of our drills that we shared today. So put them in the comment section below or go down to the comment, the description where I have all my social media links. You can share any videos or pictures with me there. I'd love to see them. So look forward to seeing you again soon.